Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and I'm going to show you how to rename a WordPress user role. We're going to use the Publish Press Capabilities plugin, and we quite often get the question, is it possible to give a new name to one of the roles on your WordPress site? When WordPress arrives, it provides you with five roles by default. Subscriber, Contributor, Author, Editor, and Administrator. These names, they're kind of helpful, but sometimes people find them confusing, and sometimes they get roles from other plugins as well that have even more confusing names. One of the people who talked to us recently said, subscriber, does that mean they are connected to my email list as well? Well, let's take a quick look at what subscriber does, and let's see if we can come up with a better name for this, and maybe rename that role to give it a more accurate and less confusing name. So we have a test user here, and they are in the subscriber role. I'm going to test their account, and this is what the person can see. They have almost no access to do anything in your WordPress site. You may say, well, what is a subscriber good for? Well, the main thing they can do is post comments on your site. The subscriber role is really designed to have a very basic set of permissions for someone that has a name and a email address stored on your site, and they can do one or two very basic tasks. So they do have the ability to leave comments, and they do have the ability to access your WordPress dashboard. But subscriber doesn't sound like a very good name for this. Perhaps commenter or member might be a better name for this. Let's go to capabilities and take a closer look at the subscriber role. So by default, they have almost no permissions on your site. None of these permission boxes are checked with the exception of read. So this is a super basic role. And on the right side of the publish press capability screen, you can rename this role. So you might decide to rename the subscriber role to commenter. Okay. They now have a new name for that role. But someone might say, commenter, that's a bit of a mouthful. Is that really English? Mm, maybe let's call this role member instead. So if I go to rename role, I can rename the role to member. And I can keep doing this as many times as I like. So you can change the name of any WordPress role so that it makes more sense to you and to the users of your site. Publish Press Capabilities is really an excellent plugin for managing the users and the user roles on your site, not just the roles and the names of the roles, but also the permissions of those users as well. So if you haven't done so yet, head over to publishpress.com or wordpress.org and check out Publish Press Capabilities. Mm -hmm.